In today's episode of Imperium Galactic Survival, I make fun of my small pathetic tool. I don't want to do too much mining with this pathetic little tool, it just drives me mad. Ride an enemy ballista like a bucking bronco. What if I stand on you? <laughs> and get shot in the bum. Oh, you. oh crap. No, I'm being shot in the bum. Hello and welcome back to Imperium Galactic Survival, Breaking Bad. Well, I'm back at my water extractor. I picked up two more canisters. Uh, a little while to go for the next one, so let's head back. I'm going to get some more oxygen, but I am doing well now on oxygen, it would seem. My uh, woes of asphyxiation are over. Well, hopefully, assuming I can keep that oxygen thing, extractor, working then we should be good, at least, you know, from an oxygen point of view. Food, and dying to, you know, random crap, is still very much a thing. So, we've got a lot of work to do. I need to move myself up north to that water extractor so that I don't have to keep making this commute. And um, I can get it ticking over and we can set up a bit of a base up there. Now, I do not know on this planet if there is any Xerax presence. If there is, there may be base attacks. Well, as it is, we have pissed off the Talon, so the Talon might actually decide to attack us with their shamans and weirdness, but uh, we'll have to wait and see if that happens. For now, um, let's just get this thing producing some more oxygen, and then we need to go and get some iron so we can make another portable constructor, and then we can move ourselves out of Talon territory. Right, so make another bunch of oxygen please there, boss. This thing, this all of this is not going to fit in my backpack, so um, I need somewhere to throw it in order to move on. We can then start working on getting a bunch of iron and stuff, and also I can turn some more biofuel into uh, fuel, or a hand drill would be useful. Alright, while that's doing that, let's go and get some iron. That's the other side of Talon territory, so we have to literally fly through it. Past all the guard towers and all the patrols. Back into the darkness for that iron deposit that we found on day one. Fortunately for the for me, Talon, well they can't shoot, so <laughs> we're okay. We just fly straight through on our little paper hover bike. Everything's fine. Bingo. Chuck our drone up and resource mode. And we'll get another sort of um, 20 or 30 iron out of this, I think. I don't want to do too much mining with this pathetic little tool. It just drives me mad. But uh, yeah, I'll get the mechanical one. It's a little bit quicker. Because uh, we will need the resources to get that little SV in that I sort of teased at the end of last episode. So we get that in then. We should be able to dig up a lot more resources uh, a lot quicker. And hopefully get another... Uh, get a, a capital ship in and get the hell out of here. That's 44 iron. That will do. That will definitely afford me another portable constructor that we can use to move into. Let's get back. Alright, setting up here is going to be real tricky. If I can't get my EVA boost on, well, the truth is, I can get probably another thermal regulator. I just need to unlock it. Under MISC, thermal regulator. That might help. But minus 24 right now. Thermal regulator is up good up to minus 25. We'll set it to zero. I don't think my tolerance is even zero. No, it's five degrees. <laughs> so I'm still going to be freezing even with a thermal regulator nearby. Albeit a little bit slower. Uh, still. At least we can now move up here. And uh, I'll worry about temperature later. But now let's just start moving. Okay. So I want that's a that's a tasty amount of oxygen bottles right there. Let's grab all this stuff. As much as my little backpack can take. There we go. And we're gonna just shuttle that backwards and forwards. Alright. Should be able to do it in hopefully just two trips. Okay. 
Thermal regulator down so we don't freeze our tits off. Alright, there we go. Let's check everything in here. Now, in theory, the food should preserve here because, you know, it's cold like a fridge, right? But it doesn't. It should, but it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I can pick all that up. That up. And... That up. Alright, we're done here. Um... Yeah, a little bit of space left. I might just use that real quick. I hope I don't get ambushed. But pick up some more gra uh, carbon substrate here. Okay, so I've actually set up just down from the water generator because it's freezing. Um, whereas down here, it's it's kind of manageable. It's still technically in the desert, right? So, you know, it's 20 degrees warmer here. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we've got two portable constructors now, which is lovely, and I can put water in this one and just have it producing oxygen, except it needs carbon substrate as well, that's brutal, holy moly, okay, well, and there's some carbon substrate as well, so it just produce oxygen, okay, good, now this guy producing some meds and food at the moment, um, just because, you know, it's all going to spoil anyway, so me as well, I guess. Uh, other than that, looking reasonably okay in here. We've got some iron, copper, silicon. And yeah, we need more plant fiber there. Big, big thing there. Uh, let me quickly show you. So the Humbug is a little ship that I threw together. is kind of like a really cheap star. 620 carbon substrate, 228 copper, 225 iron, and 153 silicon. Yes, it could be cheaper, but it's got everything that we kind of need to get us going. Um, that is apart from an O2 station and an armor locker and you know some things like that that we'll have to add on afterwards but it does come with two mechanical drills and that's useful anyway this is going to require um, a gatling gun and um, uh, none of that none of those i mean that 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 so is that uh, by extension and that Thrusters and mediums, doesn't have any CPU or shut doors or spotlights, but it does have a detector. Okay, then that should be it, right? Oh, hang on. Landing gears and small Wi Fi. Okay, landing gears is right there. And Wi Fi. There we go. Ooh, with points, of, points left over. So we can now add that to the factory. All right, and we can start contributing to that as we explore. Right now, what we do need to do is go to that other talent area and see if we can pick up some more plant fiber from their farms. Assuming they have some farms there. Meanwhile, this guy is just going to run in the background. And you've already got 13 bottles of oxygen. So you're doing great. Yeah, we're going to need more fuel to get them running there. So new talent territory, uh, territory directly southeast. There's that mountain that we originally spied as well. That has also got snow on. Um... It could have worked, but I think it's also in Talon territory, so potentially we would have hit the same problem as before, just patrols coming in and ruining our day. Anyway, let's take a look at this new Talon territory, see what it's all about. All right, there they are. Looks like they've got they've got a main settlement. Guard post, horn farm, hut. The hut is what we're aiming for. I know that the hut has got... Um, the hut's got... Plant fiber. I wonder if there's any of those little farms around here as well. You know, like the one we saw that doesn't have any buildings around it. This is going to be risky, guys, because... Um, if this thing gets destroyed by one of those guard towers, we are... A long way from home. And there's no iron around here either, so... Have a little zip around... So that has got what looks like just corn. That actually doesn't look like it's surrounded at all. So it might be safe to just go in here. Do a little ping. Two repeating crossbow rounds. Get out of the way of that thing. It's about to shoot, I think. Hi. Hi. Give me all your food. <laughs> Alright, so that was 60 plant fiber. Not a great deal, I've got to be honest. Crop field, that's the one. Yep. Loads in it. It's so far so good. Not even being shot at yet. 
is a big win. Oh, now I'm being shot at. Probably that guy there. I don't see any incoming rounds. Maybe that one. Who cares? Let's just grab all the food here. Now, um, these POIs will gener regenerate because they're on a server. So I think we've got a couple of hours to wait before the first ones that we looted will regenerate. But um, we can always go back and get more later after all plants regrow, right? The ones like this. What are you shooting at, Sunshine? Okay. So that's the hut and a crop field. There's a settlement there. The corn farm. Oh, shit. Oh, that was a wasted shot. Alright, well, got him. I'm sorry, but you guys are the only source of freaking plant fiber this entire planet, it seems. Uh, little detector. Yeah, there's nothing else here at all. Okay. I wonder if those little guard towers have little loot boxes in them. That might be interested. Now, the other thing as well is the village, but the village is going to be way too t tough to take on with just a survival tool. I'll have to wait for that one. There's nothing in here, is there? No. This guy here, though. Your reputation is not good enough to talk to mushroom ferment. Me. Okay. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I do want to check out this cornfield, though. I'm going to get shot to hell. Ooh, boy. Yeah, uh, projectiles are quite slow, but still, they hit, they will hurt. He has got, um, whoop. Damn. He's just got corn. Okay, well, he's got boxes. Boxes have goods. Hi. You're lucky I was set to detect then. Can he shoot down? I don't think he can. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of plant fiber. Nice. Oh, hostile. Oh, no. That's so different from unfriendly. <laughs> That's so different. Okay. I'm going to go up to that thing. Hope it nice day. Oh, the corn. Oh, the corn. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, nice. Okay. A bit more corn. It's all XP as well. I mean, that was 3,000 XP for picking those plants. Just those ones then. Yeah, so I'm leveling up like crazy. Right, has this guard post got any weaknesses? It's made of stone. So that's a good start, isn't it? Hi. What are you doing? Why are you chasing me? You're ranged. Wow, that was close. Easy, tiger. Alright. So... No, not really. Oh, easy. What if I stand on you? <laughs> what's the... What's, what's the problem? <laughs> yeah. Also, who's, who's operating you? Right now, <laughs> ghost baluster. Shit. All right. So yeah, I mean, there's definitely. I can't get in here. Fortunately, salvage mode. There's a core in place, so um, I might be able to dig under it. Actually, I wonder if when dig under, can I get to? Is the core accessible from underneath? Oh well, well, well. Hello, hello. A cheeky little generator in the fuel tank. I'm about to get very toasty in here. What if I was to collapse the damn thing on itself? Hmm? Where's the core? I bet the core is um in it inside, right? And we don't have any explosives. No anything. That would be useful. To pop a little explodey boy on this. Right. Do these things do any damage to these things, right? Might be a bit suicidal. Yeah, they do. About 20, but... 
Yeah, and it's just about not going to kill it, is it? If everyone just... It's going to be seven points left. That sucks. Okay, let's save the ammo. Um, Right, let's get out of it and not get blown up on the way. Back to base. We'll turn the plant fiber that we got into biofuel. 70, 70, 70, 70. And we'll get a mechanical drill and we've got to go and do some mining. Oh, yeah. All right, I've unlocked the mechanical drill. Doing some meds, then it will be drilling time, baby. First stop, carbon mine. I'm actually going to get into it this time because, um, well, I need 600 odd carbon substrate. And I don't want to be caught up on the surface while in my drone. Up on my oxygen, snack on some sausage, and let's get drilling. Oh yeah. Can you feel the excitement? Ooh. <laughs> Next up is the iron, and as this is out of talent space. I can use my drone from here. Now we only need 225 iron. This shouldn't take nearly as long as it took to dig up the carbon substrate. Now, copper is so abundant on the ground here, and I do wonder if it might be quicker to just go around and get the surface rocks out here. Each one of these surface rocks is yielding like anywhere between 7 and 10 copper ore. So that means I don't have to go all the way down south for the copper. I can just dig it off the ground here. That's nice. That leaves silicon. Nice and safe out of talent territory again. So let's get digging. Now I just got to wait for all that to process into ingots. And 153 is all we need. Start production. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are airborne. <laughs> so this is the humbug. Um, it's... Uh, it's tiny. It's a little bit. It's a little, tiny little boot. It's literally designed just to get you going. Um, and that's it. That's it. And it has got some drills. So you got two little drills at the front. Yeah. Nice. Single gap detector. Thrust in all direction. Plenty of storage. Um, ammo box on the back. Just in case you wanted to get backdoored really hard. <laughs> OS controllers there. There was a 1600. So it uh, should be good. Now I'm going to fuel this up with the remainder of my biofuel here. A bit risky, but we don't need the mechanical drill anymore. After all, we've got freaking humbug, right? So we're going to use this thing to go out and get some Promethean. On this planet, four Promethean deposits. So if I can get all the Promethean that I need, then I can fuel this, I can fuel that, I can fuel everything, and we're good. This thing's got a fridge on it as well, so that should keep us in food as well. Plus, you know a gap so a bit more plant fiber i can whip up some 15 mil actually i don't think i can uh 15 mil you can build that in an sv constructor that doesn't have one um i mean to be fair i could probably get one on there it has the cpu spare it's got 2000 left it's a case of where to shove it i suppose um yeah, it's a bit awkward, but I might be able to find some space in there. Uh, or just stick it on the back, I suppose, in some haphazard, horrible way. Anyway, one thing I do need to build is um, an armor locker. Because it doesn't have one of those. I, I honestly didn't think that I'd be getting, <laughs> getting some armor this early on. Um, but there we go. That's the wrong thing. Small vessel armor locker. Where are you? There you are. Oxygen station armor locker. I mean... All these things are useful. All these things are useful. So, I mean, I don't know if I could build an armor locker from here. Can I? SV armor locker. I think I can. Look at that. Sweet. All right. Well, there we go. We've got... Uh, we're limited on iron. But, yeah. Um, we should be able to make some more coffee if I can get some... Oh, never mind. Energy drinks are the natural stimulants, isn't it? 37 of them. I may as well just use them up. They're going to spoil, right? And this doesn't. So make a bunch of that. Okay, so armor locker, bingo. Let's top up our oxygen here real quick. Um, uh, so, I don't know where to put this. It's kind of a thin, useless thing. It's probably just temporary. I mean, I have a multi-tool. I could just slap it on, take it off, slap it on, take it off. Um, yeah. 
All right. Let's stick it right there. Oh, really? You you don't have any charges? Yeah, of course not. Far too easy. Okay, well, I guess we're slapping it on but not taking it off. But that'll do. For me, there's an EVA boost. My days of worrying about the cold are over. And we're airborne. So, hmm, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I'm going to start by putting food. Here we go. In the fridge of the humbug here. And uh, we are going to be looking for Promethean. We need to make a bit of a priority of it because we've got 24 minutes of flight time here. Yeah, let's say 23. Um, and now Promethean, I think I mentioned before, typically we want to be looking in mountains, I think, for Promethean. But look at this, guys. We are day two, airborne. Pretty good. Pretty good. And with the detector as well. This is going to make exploration and finding stuff so... Uh, now, the handbook here isn't designed for performance. It can lift some stuff. It can go in every direction. But <laughs> lefty right is just one thruster. So, ah, there we go. Promethean. Bingo. That was nice. All right. So we're at 50% uh, capacity anyway. Because I loaded everything into the back here. So doesn't despawn when I log out. Okay, so somebody's done some digging here as well. But with the drills here already on the on the ship here, we should be able to make reasonably quick work. There's six Promethean. Eight. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Let's fill up on oh, Promethean here. Then we're going to head back. Get this process into some fuel. With that, we can run the ship for more than seven minutes. We can run our water collectors. Hell, I could even run the O2 condensers if I wanted to, but it seems a bit pointless. I'm going to mine this one out completely. So it doesn't appear on the map for someone else on this planet. As a potential resource source, and then they get here and, oh, it's only 10% or whatever. It just won't appear. And then they won't waste their time coming for it. Here we go. I'll upload the humbug to the workshop. But yeah. Um, I did bring everything with me to see if there was perhaps a better spot to live on. There's a patch of snow right here. In any case, either way, whichever spot that I choose, ultimately, <laughs> going to be far away from one thing and close to one thing else, so it doesn't really matter. Let's just head back to where I was. I loaded it up because I was like, oh, maybe I can move base. Maybe I can move location. Nah, why bother? Um, there will do fine. There will do fine. This is a temporary existence anyway. So yeah, um, I mean, we're gonna be we're gonna be explore the map. I don't know what is on Cherie. I mean, obviously we've got some talent here. I don't know if there is any Xerax. I haven't seen any drones, so I don't think so. Um, Polaris, colonists, anything like that. We're gonna have a little run around the planet once I've got this stuff refined. I'm gonna set up shop right next to my water collector here. Now that I've got an EVA boost, the cold, not a bother. And let's park you. I want to keep the humbug running as long as possible, really, because uh, it's obviously got the fridge on it, so. Keep it running there, but maybe I can turn the thrusters off, and that will preserve some power. 31 minutes of power without thrusters on, okay. Good, okay, let's pop down my constructors again. Uh, we've got an F4 now, haven't we? Oh, it's controller. Here is everything. So, we need a base next, uh, ideally, so that we can start producing bigger stuff. Uh, so let's just grab everything. Yeah, I mean all the seeds. I put all the seeds in another one. They're going to come in handy when we start making a farm and stuff, but for now, not particularly handy. And the 138 silicon there. There we go. Atmospheric condensers. Spoiled food. <laughs> Everything's going off. And there's the Promethean. Okay. Get this over. I think we need to unlock as well. The... 
Uh, I think we uh, we need to unlock as well the, the fuel cells. There we go, fuel cells. Here we go. So just make like a bunch of those from that Promethean there. That should keep you going for a little while. We still need more plant fiber. That is going to be the constant struggle here. So, well, once we get a couple, I think what I'll do... I think it produces two, yep. I'll put those in there. That'll give it 16% fuel. We're going to use that and go and get some more plant fiber from the Talon here. Then we can get some ammunition. I mean, I'll have it. We'll be armed. The Talon will have no chance. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a bit of a bully, I'll be honest. <laughs> now, this thing isn't like indestructible against the Talon. They're one of those big ballista things that probably make short work of the plastic blocks this is surrounded by and the container extensions just underneath them. So, yeah, let's not be too cocky about it at all. Anyway. It's a, hell, it's a hell of a lot quicker, that's for sure, going around with this thing than the little hover bike. Okay, there's the Talon Hut. We'll stop here. This should have all regenerated by now. Been a minute. Pop out. Yeah, there we go. Plant fibers. Bingo. Now, the other one, there's a field just over here, but that might be too close to the... I oh, know we should be good. Oh, this is going to be a tricky one to. Going to run out and get the stuff anyway. Um, as long as I'm quick, they shouldn't be able to hit me. Barbarians, after all. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> Mushrooms. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for all the vegetables. <laughs> yeah. They tried. But, you know, they let down by lousy AI. <laughs> so, there we go. Okay, so the ballisters there are probably going to be in range of me here. Going to be a little tricky. Oh, you can see the the rounds flying past me now. This thing is pretty small, so oh, hello. More fruits and vegetables. Lovely. Cute. There is another hut over there. I'm not sure if I can get this one. It's gonna be a risky AF. But if we park the ship between me and the guard posts. Uh oh. Hopefully that's just small arms. One has far fewer. Oh crap. No, I'm being shot in the bum. Another guard post right behind me. Oh, there's one on the hill. Look, crap. Um, Everything looks fine. Still, still intact? Yeah. <laughs> crap. We don't want to be taking damage. Dearly. Oh, I should get some multi tool chargers. So I can do some repairs if I need to. Anyway, uh, this should all go in the fridge. 312. Oh, really? That's full? Um, what's the... Oh, well, yeah. 348. Rain, I suppose. Um, fine. Alright, well. That fridge is full. More reason that we need a base, I guess. Okay. Turn those thrusters off again. Pop out. Have a look. How much Promethean have I gone through? Yeah, a fair bit. I'll, I'll, um, I'll leave it there. Let's get a couple of multi tool charges. I'll need to unlock the multi tool. There we go. Get a couple of the charges before it continues. And then we'll set it back on maybe, I don't know, 20 more of those. But 39 of those. That should be enough to fill this up nicely. Okay, that's a full tank. The rest can go in here. This can come out. Put this in this other constructor here. And get this guy back to producing oxygen again, although he needs carbon substrate to do that. So 223 there. Lit that. We're there. Okay, there we go. Just make oxygen. Alright. 
Just make oxygen. Easy. Okay. I'll, um... I don't know what to really do with this food, to be honest. Put me greens. Let's just eat some stuff, I guess. Eat that. Uh, if I mix the wheat with purified water, oof, then I can make bread. So, I put that water there, and then just make like a load of bread. But, I mean, you know, it'll make nine bread. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, actually, it's got four water containers in there. Maybe it will get more than nine. But there we go, we've got some multi-tool chargers, so I can reload this. Finally. I mean, we're taking some hits here, but I can't actually see... Oh, the thruster nearly went, look. Oh, that was close. That would have been an expensive loss, losing a thruster straight away. Ouchies. Everything else around it, though, seems to be fine. No splash damage on those things. Oh, tell a lie. Carbon composite block there took a hit. Okay, we're okay. Right. Now, I can't make 15 mil ammo. Because I'll need either an SV constructor or a base constructor. And an SV constructor could probably go on here somewhere. I need to maybe get a little bit creative with where to put it. But uh, it can go on there. Now, uh, can I build that from here, though? No, I can't. I can't build an SV constructor from this thing. Which means I need a base. There's There's no way around it. Fine. We'll start with the base starter block then. How much iron have I got? Only 10. Yeah, I need to go out and do some more mining. We've got copper and we've got silicon. Let me order this. Yeah, so we've got iron. Uh, yeah, copper, silicon. we got... What happened there? Grid. Undid the filtering. Um, I don't... Well... Brilliant. And does the filtering every time it builds something. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> seems seems a very Imperium level problem. Cool. Anyway, let's go get some iron. We'll need some carbon substrate. Yada, 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 yada. We need a bit of everything, right? So, fire that thing up again. Let's head south because I know there's a carbon deposit south that we dug up a bit of. There's copper right next to us. There's a carbon deposit right next to us. But let's get this one out of the way. That's the only iron deposit I found, but there are 12 here. So, um, I'm going to leave these ones because um, as people start on this planet, you get to have these three there. So I'll get rid of this one. I got rid of that Promethean. There's only three left now. Try not to dig up any more Promethean here if I can avoid it. Um, but let's see if we can find another iron and silicon source somewhere as well. All right, so my old campsite. Oh, my oxygen's running low. Pop that up real quick. Good, in theory, just dump a bunch of these tanks in the ship. And then that will... I can breathe that, basically. Okay, here we go. Carbon. There shouldn't be a lot of carbon left. With only two drills, it's still somewhat slow. But as you can see, it's absolutely transformative getting um, some SV mechanical drills. It's insanely different how quick it goes. From, you know, from hand mining to to this. It's so good. Right. There we go. The humbug seems to be pretty good at it as well. Oh, look, I left a thermal regulator down here. <laughs> I'll pick that up. These planets get wiped on the 25th of every month, so... It will disappear eventually, but... Let's not litter. Maybe we should. We are breaking bad after all, right? Alright, so first of all, I'm going to go around the, the North Pole here. Then I'll do the same on the South Pole. And then uh, we'll try and fill in the blanks in between. Iron deposit up. Nice medium one as well. Go ahead and get that. 37 meters, is that the best angle of approach? Eh, doesn't matter. Yo, looks like we got some more Talon scumbags. Over here. Okay. Oh. Look at that. There's a, something down there with a little hover vessel near it as well. Alright, so... Allen. Crop fields. Huts. Villages. Two crop fields. 
Oh, nice. That's a tidy amount of plant fiber right there. There's a tidy amount of plant fiber. That's a guard post, though. Iron deposit here as well, and another graphite deposit. Okay. Uh, more radar signatures everywhere as well. I do want to check out that heat signature to the south. Let's see if we can stop by and raid, um, raid these crop fields first, though. And uh, floating. <laughs> oh. Are we being shot at by... Oh, yes, we are. Whoa. Is there a guard post here? I'm not seeing. That that thing's just shooting at me from that far away. Okay. Maybe um, not, then. Park the ship in range. See if we can go in on foot. The ship needs to be kept safe. That is the number one priority. I lost a block on the top there, look. Container extension. Receiving any fire here. But yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah, container extensions, I have like next to no hit points, so. Um, I mean, other than plastic, but the plastic will take a hit, you know? Container extension won't. Alright, we're going to go in on foot. Well, take the little bike, I suppose. We're going to be under fire the whole time. Pick you up before you get blown up. All your plant fiber. Oh, and the core. <laughs> Quite funny. What you can do is stand near this thing, wait for the shot to come in. I can't because they're they're coming at me. But <laughs> you can get it to destroy itself. I don't know what I'm getting at. Quite funny, right? Another crop field down there. All right, look at that. Right now, I'm okay sprinting around because um, got the oxygen now. So this kind of like reckless, dangerous running around, stealing everything. <laughs> These crops are so angry at me for stealing some plants, dudes. Like you know, calm down. Oh, but well, that was. That was a bit of a surprise. The melee attack. Ouch. Oh, do you know what? I've got an EVA boost on, don't I? So EVA boosts um, basically remove your armor. <laughs> you basically may as well be wearing freaking glass. Look at these zigzagging serpentine bastards. Oh, I have ammo. You need a proper gun. Saving all the plant fiber for obvious, for obvious reasons. That give me more. No, that is all my ammo, isn't it? They're quick. I'll give them that. They can run quicker than I can back track. Oh, mushrooms. Yeah, dumb though. It's not their fault. Just that they were coded that way. All right. Oof, that was close. Miss some plant fiber here, vegetables and mushrooms. Okie dokie. Oh, one more. Alright, back to the ship. That was lucrative, if not for the death. It was embarrassing. But it is what it is. Alright. Back to the ship. Now, I picked up. Let's have a little look-see, now that we're kind of safe. Another 300 plant fibers. They, to be fair, don't need to go in here. They can go in here. They don't spoil, right? Um, like the, the seeds. Everything else perishes. Yep. Into the fridge with you. Cool. Back on some bread. So that was fun. Okay, so we found another iron and graphite deposit. Let's have a look at what that thing is down to the south. That is... Um, heat signature there. Oh. Oh, shut the front door. Is that the Elder Tomb? Is that really the Elder Tomb? Yeah. <laughs> Frick it is as well. Okay, then. The Elder Tomb is... 
interesting. That is that is that it. Well, I, I don't know. It might have been nerfed. Obviously, there's there's the, that to consider. But um, certainly, last time I run this, there's a load of plant fiber here as well. But there's spiders and stuff. Uh, last time we run this, there was a lot of loot oh, and more talent. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not ready for it yet. I need. I need better. I need guns. <laughs> I can't run the elders too with a survival tool. Be there for hours. And about 500 deaths, right? So yeah, we're looking forward to the si silicon um, signature, and then we'll mine that and head back to base. I think get all these resources processing. But yeah, I was going around the, the North Pole here. I need to kind of try and complete that circuit. There's something over there as well. There's heat signature over there. There's another POI here. Power. Oh right, yeah. Massive Talon village there. Okay, we're not going to be short on plant fiber as long as we keep raiding these suckers. Hello, debris field. And there's like an old abandoned tower or something over there. Old tower, yeah. The debris, debris field's not bad, actually. There's a cannon turret on it, you know? Now, unfortunately, POIs regenerate on my server. So, yeah, you basically can't. You can't, can't put a core in this and take the whole parts, but you can definitely get the salvage out of them. Whatever that's worth, you know. And, you know, a cannon turret. Yeah, it's got some hit points. It's also got a lot of juicy components in it, though, so definitely get in there. Ah, there's good stuff. And then I think there's a few other things around here as well. We'll get antennas and stuff. Always generally have, like, computers and electronics in them and whatnot. There we go. That was juicy. Lovely. Put that in the harvest container. Juice! Love me some juice. Juicy juice is the best. And you get all computers in those antennas. Look at that. Um, yeah, and now that these deco blocks always have carbon substrate and stuff. And then you get... Oh, pull the inventory. Hang on. Be all those pesky computers, huh? Um, then you get some of these, which sometimes have good stuff in them. This will have some fuel. There we go. Pretty good. Pretty good. Early game, pretty good, at least, anyway. There's an oxygen booster tank. Nice. I can put that straight on. I mean, that's pretty useful on this planet, right? Is that it? Just one. <laughs> one. You're going to give me one freaking oxygen, huh? Uh, drill charge. O2 station. These have giblets in. Giblets. Giblets. Yeah. Pretty good, really. One more as well. Ah. Uh. Beautiful. An emergency ration. I missed emergency ration. Ah, bullets! <laughs> yes, free bullets. Always a fan of free bullets. Uh, bullets I don't need to, like, you know, actually make from precious plant fiber. This is good. This is good. I'll take that. Um, food and medicines as well. There you go. That. That is why I got a bit excited about the debris field. That was pretty dope on the loot front there. Um, I don't think that's got a perish time. It does. That doesn't sprout. Everything else goes in the fridge. I found cookies. Cookies. Cookies in the desert. I mean, that is... That's going to cheer you up, isn't it? <laughs> you find cookies in the desert. Brawling through sand, just like... Uh, my dear, I suppose, you know, cookies might not be too exciting in the desert, because it depends how moist they are. There's nothing like a dry cookie, is there? Nobody wants a dry cookie. Right? Moist cookies are the best. Fresh cookies. You know, ones that have just come out. That's what you want. There's dry cookie nonsense. Like, three-day-old cookies. The worst. Why am I talking about cookies? Anyway, uh, Old Towers. Not got anything in it, from what I remember. It's got an antenna on top. Uh, but there's no loot boxes or anything, so who cares? Okay. Moving on. Well, 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 look who I just found. 
Look at Larissa here. Apparently I'm neutral with them. I could go in and maybe, you know, have a drink. Raid, I suppose. Broken radar. Doesn't have anything in it. Small wreckage. Probably just a single box. There's a small wreckage here as well. Again, no doubt just a single box. Um, yeah, yes, that was it. Check that out over there. Yeah, I think that Revian was making this planet um, for story missions. So that sanctuary, you've got the Talon monument and stuff like that. Kind of everything you need for the early missions. And I think this is the Pelican. Yep. That's it. So there's a whole another bunch of loot there that we can take. Got an admin core, so we can't get everything off of it. But the boxes, at least. I think that is pretty much everything. There's a radar signature over there, which I think is the last graphite deposit. I've just realized, and I can't believe I've only just realized this as well. But, um, where's that? Uh, it's not even, not even a thing. Uh, there's only one silicon deposit. The only one silicon deposit on this map. So we're going to have to dig that one up. Now, if I dig it up, hopefully that will spawn meteorites for any other players on this planet. But uh, there's not really much I could do about it. <laughs> there's only one silicon deposit. That might mean that um, the others have already been dug up, maybe. All right. Anyway, I'm going to head back to base. And I'm going to grab that silicon deposit as well at some point. And... Yeah, I try to figure out the next move. The next move is basically it is a base. It is an actual base so that we can start producing larger things. We need to get cobalt, titanium, and stuff as well for constructors. And then it's the hunt for Neo for uh, flux coils. And that'll be for ship thrusters, like capital vessel thrusters and stuff, so we can actually get out of here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a capital vessel before warping around base system here. But, you know, the good news is there's, there's plenty of Neo um, nearby in beta 2 here I, I one jump over there and I'll have more near that I know what to do with so yeah we'll be okay as long as I can get the cobalt or an SV warp drive anyway that's where I'm going to leave you thank you very much for watching I do hope you enjoyed and I hope you continue to enjoy um, this series of me breaking bad we are going to kill the Polaris by the way <laughs> that it's an admin POI, so maybe not those Polaris, but we will be killing the Polaris. Do not worry. I am going to war against everything and everyone. Um, you know, assuming I actually can. No point attacking that. It's indestructible. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.